Welcome to Mystical Perspectives. I'm your host, Reverend Cindy Palos. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Uh, I love the subject we're going to be talking about today. We'll be talking about partnering with God. This is uh, such a wonderful gift that we can tap into, and it's truly life-changing. Um, we'll be doing talks based on Dr. Paul Leon Master's book, um, which is one we've been going over for years, um, Spiritual Mind Power Affirmation. Actually, I can say years because it's been a year and a few months, right? <laughs> or at least a year and a half. And um, you can find this book at metaphysics.com along with a lot of wonderful information there. It's also available at amazon.com. Um, and what we do is first read the affirmations from the book, then I do a talk on it, and then we do a meditation and close it out. Um, partnering with God affirmation starts with realization. I realize that there is ultimately but one life in the universe as there is in my body, mind, and soul, and that life is God. So with this realization, it's a life-changing realization. We're not separate. We're not ego-based individuals just out there wandering around the earth without, <laughs> without a purpose, without spirit, with uh, just our one life on earth. Um, we are indeed one with God. And that is the basis of all the mystical perspectives, that oneness that you can be aware of with God. So repeating this, I realize that there ultimately is but one life in the universe, as there is in my body, mind, and soul, and that life is God. It's a very powerful thing. In fact, you might want to just um, take that affirmation and say that uh, every day. The next affirmation is vehicle. I recognize that my body, mind, and soul are vehicles through which God's spirit, mind, will, and purpose may be expressed. So there's that beautiful prayer from St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, let me be an instrument of thy peace. Um, where he's doing just this, he's realizing that his vehicle is able to just be there to serve God's spirit, mind, and will, and purpose. And when we make that connection daily through meditation or affirmations or just quiet time, and we make that connection and turn our will over to God's will, everything shifts. And that is the key of what we're talking about today. Recognition, the next one here, I recognize that I am an individuation of God's mind, spirit, and individualized here into human form. So we're just these reflections of light, right? Particles of that one source of all life. Repeating that, I recognize that I am an individual of God's mind, spirit, individualized into human form. So this is how we express ourselves in this lifetime. And if you believe in karma, there's many, many lifetimes and many different expressions that we have been in the past and will be in the future. The next one's choice. I choose to enter into a partnership between the manifestation of my body, mind, and soul and the will, mind, and spirit of Almighty God. Now, this is a choice. We're given a choice. We have free will. So we can make that choice to enter into a partnership and let God be our partner. And when we do make that choice to partner with the will, mind, and spirit of God, all of a sudden, we find that we've plugged into the energy source that directs all anyway. <laughs> and life becomes a lot easier. Repeating this one, will I turn over all awareness of my personal will, 
to the will of God that is done through my body, mind, and soul. The next affirmation is cooperation. The outer human manifestation of consciousness within me opens itself fully to cooperate with the innermost consciousness of God. So this is the alignment that is really important and key, right? Um, that we are aligned, that we're not having a separation, that, not, that we don't want to be battling with our inner self and our outer self. We don't want to have um, two parts divided. We want to be at one in union with that, right? So this is where cooperation comes in. The outer human manifestation of consciousness within me opens itself fully to cooperate with the innermost consciousness of God. The next one is pact. I agree to a cooperative pact between the personal and universal soul and spirit. The outer and inner mind living and manifesting in and through me at all levels of my beingness. So this is your pact. This is your inner vow. This is your purpose. Again, repeating this, I agree to a cooperative pact between the personal and universal, the soul and spirit, the outer and inner mind, living and manifesting in and through me at all levels of my beingness. And then we have, of course, meditation, as we almost always have in these. Through my daily practice of meditation, I open my body, mind, and soul to universal God energy consciousness to manifest through me. What a great gift. Through my daily practice of meditation, I open my body, mind, and soul to universal God energy consciousness to manifest through me. So meditation is the key, of course. You know, we need to have that quiet, still time to connect with God. And we need to, at that time, turn our will over to God and join with that. And also, it's very handy to know what God's will is. And in that meditation time, we can also do that. This is where we form that partnership with God that works every day in our life. And the last affirmation in partnering with God is intuition. I am guided in cooperative partnership with God through intuitive guidance that God's will for my existence be fulfilled. So this is very, very important when this partnering with God that you're cooperating with God through your guidance. This is where different people have different forms of guidance. Some is just a hunch. Some is a feeling. Some is just being directed. Um, sometimes I write down messages every single day after I meditate. And that's where I get my guidance. But there's also signs that come. And you can tell when something is in the flow and something is just not going right. And when you've turned your will over to God, you have to trust those signs um, that will guide you in the right direction. So the repeating intuition. I am guided in cooperative partnership with God through intuitive guidance that God's will for my existence be fulfilled. Amen, right? So let's talk a little bit about our partnership with God. I mean, we look at so many people out there, and there's so many people charging a fortune to uh, get you to sign up to be a life coach, right? <laughs> have you noticed that? Oh, for $600 a month, you know, you can have weekly coaching or more. But you know what? The best life coach in the world is out there to help you for free every single day. It's uh, that being who knows you inside and out with all the good and bad parts, not just the parts you want to be seen by the world. And it's that energy that has known you for lifetimes and known your soul for lifetimes and only wants the best for you. That being that spiritual energy of God who is always on call and doesn't even want to be paid for the help. There's uh, such a being and that is 
God. God really can be our life coach. You know what? God always has your back. He's always there waiting for you to call upon. It's the direct connection of your highest purpose because your soul is connected to God through lifetimes after lifetimes. And the goal is, of course, becoming one with God and getting back to that oneness. Uh, why take secondhand information from someone who's only maybe basing their information on what their own energy is doing and reflecting that back to you? Or someone who really just wants to get more money for you, from you. If they, a lot of times people realize that <laughs> as long as you're in need, they'll take your money. <laughs> so if you don't need them and you find God, boy, they're out of business. Uh, no one wants to help you more than God. Uh, that's a kind of love that we all really seek and need. And it's right there inside you. We're created with an eternal promise in the depths of our hearts that there is that perfect, unconditional love that understands us. The path of love is God. And God's love created us. And with God's love, we can see everything through. It's a way that you can really be in touch with your true self when you go within and meditate. And you turn your individual ego and your busy mind into the silence within. And listen, listen to that inner voice that speaks and whispers there to your soul. It's a powerful presence. It is the resource that makes all of your life better and gives you reason. It's from the creator of all life and your creator. God's path gets you in touch with your true self and that inner self within that is a reflection of God. And it's always there to guide you and direct you. God works with all kinds of special tools. Really, I call them sacred tools of love. And it's not just a Sunday kind of thing. It's not going to church on Sunday and saying hallelujah. It's every single day. It's your life. It's your life path. It's your life purpose. So it's really important that you learn to listen and be able to be in tune with that guidance that you get. So that point within you is alive with the light and love of God to use and share in life and to make you the best person that you can be for free. Well, it's not free. It means giving up your ego. It means giving up your fear. It means giving up all those things that bring you down. <laughs> well, how do you foster and care for that love of God and God's love in you? Well, it's all about, again, connecting with God in the morning and at night, if you can, before you go to sleep, and building that connection so that there's no separation, which would, of course, be Christ consciousness, right? That's where that maintaining that energy and staying with it always is and comes from. It's the energy of the Holy Spirit uniting us all in one. And it makes us able to turn our lives over to serving that love and that peace and having compassion for the rest of the world. Because you know what? It's not an easy thing to do. I mean, it does take, it does take making the choice daily. And it also takes returning again and again and again to love. But that love is your reason for being. It's why you're here. And it makes that whole difference for you to understand and find that truth because it is who you really are. You are love. You are God's love here in form. And you know what? Oh, you only have to say yes. You need to commit yourself to take the time to let God's light and love into your heart and soul daily. You have to understand that God is your best friend. God is your life coach. And you have to follow that path and live with the principles, the true principles. 
of what was really taught by the master. Because that example of his life was how to share that love and understanding and kindness and compassion in your life. How to forgive. That gift of love is really all about what God is because Christ consciousness is the uniting of Christ with God that can be also your state that is always with God. It's our true inheritance. It's really what our soul longs for and seeks to find. It really does make us whole and complete. It is our reason for being. So whenever you're really ready, all you have to do is, again, just make that vow, that inner commitment. Say yes and make that your path. You can let God be your life coach. This is the mystic path, the path of direct inner connection with God. It's a path I've followed since I was 14 years old, and it absolutely has changed my life and brought me infinite blessings. It's the basis of my six CDs. It's the basis of my six books. Now I'm working on my seventh CD. And I think my next book might be <laughs> Let God Be Your Life Coach, I have a feeling. I'm going to speak uh, to you one of the poems I wrote, and then we'll do a meditation. If I were to speak to you, I would have the voice of your heart to light the words and the company of a band of angels to carry the sound of light. For their radiance can bring the awakening of joy to let the heart hear words of truth. In truth there is no sorrow or darkness. In the love that is God's love there is only great beauty and fulfillment of the union of ultimate love with the joining of the source of all energy with the creation here on earth oh to hold the light of the one who knows the power that can transform you only the heart of love can carry that torch that can be so bright only the heart that is at peace with god can find that christ within for the self is born of such a light and such a love, greater far than the mind can comprehend. And when the soul is ready to connect with the mind of God and experience the enlightened consciousness, then understanding can open the door to allow the directions of the heart to hear me and believe me. As I would know you, as I am with you always, loving you as your creator, as I am the source of all love and the light of all lights. I would have you know me and understand my way and love me with the joy of purpose, as a messenger of hope, with the love that can unite the world. There is such a path, and there are many of those who would choose to walk that path and journey with the angels of the Lord. Are you one of them? For you really never walk alone. You are always in the company of the silent ones who would guard your way. Even when you feel alone and lost without the remembrance of your heritage, fear not, for I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Now let's... Do a meditation here. Let's breathe in deep. Let go of any outside thoughts. And turn that intention inward. Breathe in the light of God. Breathe that love throughout your body. Breathe in the love of God. Let that light live throughout your entire body. Breathe in the enlightenment that is the awakening to who that energy of God really is and how it is really you. Breathe in that love and allow that love to 
be planted in seeds of fertile fields that can live and grow with your soul's life purpose. Let that energy of your soul that knows this love come into your very heart of hearts and plant those seeds with the pure light and spirit of love. Now breathe in that love and feel it blossoming with a smile of beauty. Breathe in that smile and let that smile be one that heals your heart of hearts. Find that heart of hearts within and allow that gift of God's love there to spread throughout your entire body. Make the conscious choice to let God be your partner so that when you turn within here in meditation, you are connected to that one source of all love and all light. And you let that one source of all love and all light fill every single cell of your body, mind, and soul and emotions. For spirit dwells in that heart of living love. And you can let that spirit be reflected on you here on earth. You can serve humanity. You can become a conscious co-creator as you live in the light of God's love. Breathe that in. Believe it. Know it, be it, become it. And in this moment, feel it. Feel it as your purpose and your destiny. And turn your will over to God's will. And let God direct your life. That is the love that you are. Feel it embracing you. Feel it in your heart of hearts blossoming forth into every single cell of your body. Let it renew, re-energize, and restore you to who you are. And now slowly come out of meditation and feel the energy of God's presence there within you. I'm going to close the talk today with the Aramaic version of the Lord's Prayer. Father, Mother of the cosmos, shimmering light of all, focus your light within us as we breathe your holy breath. Enter the sanctuary of our hearts, uniting within us the sacred rays of your power and beauty. Let your heart's desire unite heaven and earth through our sacred union. Help us fulfill what lies within the circle of our lives today. Forgive our secret fears as we freely choose to forgive the secret fears of others. Let us not enter into forgetfulness, tempted by false appearances, for from your astonishing fire comes the eternal song, which sanctifies all, renewed eternally in our lives and throughout creation. We seal these words in our hearts, committed in trust and faith. Amama, amama, ua noa, the prayer is free. I thank you so much for joining me. I have this talk and 50 other ones available um, at mysticalperspectives.com. I recommend you go to metaphysics.com and you can get this book and the other two books by Dr. Masters there. They're also on amazon.com. But there's information there that I think can truly change your life. May you be blessed with that direct connection with God always.